All right, so in this video, I'm gonna address a question that I get practically every single day, and that is how do I start an online business if I have zero dollars and have no income? I know I'm kind of ruining the video right now, but if you don't have any income and you have zero dollars to your name, you should not be starting a business. I know there are some people who find a way to make it work, whether it's through loans or through friends and family who are helping them out and giving them money, but I don't recommend doing it that way. Those are extremely rare cases and they don't always work out. So you might see those stories here and there of people who miraculously make a business work and they started from zero, but I don't recommend doing it that way because it's not likely. So what I'm gonna share with you in this video instead is if you have zero dollars and you have no income, I'm gonna give you an actual plan to get started, to start making money, and to eventually go into maybe an online business full-time from there. So this is gonna be a real blueprint, something that you can take action on, and not just something that is me telling you what you wanna hear. So I'm gonna lay it to you straight in this video, but before I do, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos, and so that you can help the show to other people who can benefit from this as well. And with that said, let's jump into this plan on how to get started with an online business, even if you have zero dollars, and you have no income. Now, step number one is to get a job if you don't already have one. So you need some kind of income rolling in to cover the essentials, right? Your rent, your food, your clothes, and also starting a business costs money. There are expenses. Sometimes they're small or medium or large depending on the business that you start, but all businesses require some kind of startup money. So if you don't have an income and you have zero dollars to your name, you're not gonna be able to pay for those business expenses and you're also not gonna be able to pay for the essentials like your rent and your food and your clothes. So I don't really care what kind of job you get. If you went to college, you might have a degree in something. You can get a job in your field of wherever you got your degree in. If you don't have a degree and you didn't go to college or maybe you are still young, go and do something like driving for Uber or for Lyft or for DoorDash. I know people making decent money doing that. Or maybe you can get into a commission-based sales role or some any kind of sales or lead generation role at a company like a, a startup or a tech company. But the main thing is that you get some kind of job so that you have income and you have money that you can use for the essentials, to, to live your life, and also for the business, any expenses you have with that. So yeah, I know it sounds counterintuitive getting a job if you wanna start an online business, but you need some kind of income. So if you have zero dollars and no income, the first step is to get that figured out and get some kind of job. Now step number two is to learn a money-making skill in your free time. And ideally you wanna pick a skill that doesn't cost you money to learn. So a bad example of this would be something like Facebook ads. With Facebook ads, you need, a, you need to test, right? So you need to spend money on ads in order to test your ads and figure out if they're working or not working. So you can learn about Facebook ads, but you can't really practice it unless you're spending money, whether it's your own money or if you're doing it for a client. So wouldn't recommend something like that. A good example of a money-making skill that doesn't cost anything to learn is something like copywriting. So with copywriting, the reason why it's so cool is you can learn about it with, with a few books. You can go on YouTube and watch my videos or other videos on YouTube. You can read about it and you can practice the skill on your own at home with nothing more than a Google Doc, which is free, or you can get a physical notebook and you can start hand copying and practicing your own copywriting with just a pen and pencil. So it costs you nothing to learn a skill like that. That's how I learned. I didn't really pay for anything other than some courses that I bought, but you can learn for free online if you really wanted to. And you can practice on your own at home in your free time and get better at this skill. So eventually you can get paid for it, whether it's through your own products and selling your own products and services, or if you're doing it for clients as a service. So step number two is important, right? Learning a money-making skill in your free time. And I'm sure you have a lot of free time, especially if you don't have a job. You can learn this skill, you can get better at it, and eventually you can start getting paid for this in just a matter of months. If you really put your mind to it, you really actually practice and learn the skill. Now, step number three is after you've started learning and practicing a money-making skill and you feel confident at it enough where you've practiced it and you feel good enough to help other people with it, you can start getting paid for your expertise and for your skill set. So what I'd recommend you do is start to go to job boards and start applying for gigs or start applying for jobs. So three great examples of this is Upwork, which is mainly a freelancing platform, but there are lots of jobs, both just short-term and long-term gigs that are posted there for everything from copywriting to design to transcription to all types of different skills. So you can go to Upwork. There's, that's a great place to find paying gigs and find people who are hiring for specific skill sets. The second place is a place like LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has a jobs feature at the top of their uh, the, the header bar there, they have a jobs tab where you can click there, you can look for copywriting jobs, email marketing jobs, you can look for just sales development or business development jobs. So there's all types of jobs on LinkedIn. And the third place is angellist.co. So I actually have a really good friend of mine. 
he went to AngelList, which is jobs for startup and tech companies for the most part. And he found a head of media buying job there and he's still working for that company today. So he found that job on AngelList and he at the time didn't have a job. He was just looking for some kind of paying gig. He was a really good media buyer and he was looking for some work. He went there and found a job within a few weeks. So if you have a good skill set that's in demand and that can help people, especially if you're helping people make money, you can find jobs in one of these three places, Upwork, LinkedIn or AngelList, and you can find your specific skill set, whatever you started learning and practicing in step number two. So that is step number three, go to job boards, find paying gigs and start applying to them. And don't quit your main job, but you can use this as side hustle money to start building up more and more cash. So now we get to step number four. And at this point, you should have a few things. You should have a job or some kind of income rolling in. Doesn't matter what the job is, as long as you have some kind of income to keep you afloat and to help you with business expenses, Step number two is you should have already started learning and practicing a money-making skill. I give you the example of copywriting, which I think is a great choice for most people who wanna make money online. And then step number three is once you started learning and practicing that money-making skill, go out, start applying for jobs on places like Upwork and LinkedIn and AngelList and start getting paid for your skill set. And at this point, now that you have money coming in and you have skills that can make even more money, you can start to think about going into this full-time, going into an online business full-time. So step number four for you is watch my video. It's a few videos back, I'll link to it above or below this on how do you know when is the right time to quit your, your day job for your online business. I want you to watch that video after you've gone through these steps and then you can decide whether you're, you're at the right place to quit your job and go into this full-time. So follow these steps, go through it, right? Get a job first if you don't already have that so you have some income. Go and start learning a money-making skill in your free time, and then go and start getting paid for it by applying to jobs on places like Upwork and AngelList and LinkedIn, and so that you can start to build up your experience and your case studies, and eventually you can make this your full-time thing and quit your job, uh, and you can watch my video around how do you know when is the right time to quit your job and go full-time in your online business. So there it is. That is my simple three to four step plan on if you have zero dollars and no income, how do you get started with an online business? How do you start making money online legitimately? And that is my exact plan right there. It's not sexy or glamorous, but it works. And that's exactly what I did. So I started, I got a job first. I learned a skill while I was at that job. I started making money while I was still at that job. And I didn't quit until my ventures, my online ventures were already making more than my day job. So this is the same plan that I followed. This is the same plan that I recommend to hundreds of other people when they ask me this question. And this is what I'm recommending to you. If you are starting from zero and you have no income, watch this video again, follow the steps, and you're gonna be in a good place to start making real money online, even if you're starting from zero. Now, if you wanna learn the skill of copywriting and email marketing, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free group where you're gonna be put onto also my email list and see all of my content and training and lessons specifically around that skill, copywriting and email marketing. So. Again, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free group and email list. And you can join and start learning more about that. Now, if you got value out of this video, give it a like and comment below if you have any questions. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.